Hey guys, welcome to AppCode. In the last episode of the unit testing tutorial, uh, we wrote unit test a uh, parameterized unit test using at CSV source annotation, right? So in this tutorial, uh, in this episode, actually, I'm going to uh, teach you how to use at value source annotation and at enum source annotation, right? So uh, those annotations we can use uh, for the parameterized test in specific scenario so uh, for demonstrate that i have wrote a method called is prime uh, in the math helper class right so uh, what it does basically is uh, if we pass a prime number to that one uh, it will say that's true and if it is not a prime number it uh, says uh, false right so let's write a, a test case for the uh prime numbers right so i wrote a method call is prime returns true for primes test right so now we can pass actually uh use at parameters test annotation and then value source annotation so if i go to the value source annotation there is shorts bytes ins longs and uh, several other things we can pass right so here we are going to use ints because uh, we are going to check uh, several numbers uh, uh, to verify that they are prime or not right so i'm going to pass uh, actually prime numbers here so 3 5 7 11 15 and 23 and so on right so you can pass whatever number you need. so we need to have a number here because uh, this is the variable that uh, JUnit passes these values uh, for each test type creation. Uh, next time you going to use asset true uh, and then math helper that is prime and pass the number right so now we are good to go and let's run this method and see uh, if it is working okay so we got a 15 as uh yeah we can yeah that is not a prime number actually right so let's move that down and put 13 here okay so we can write another method is prime returns false for none primes test right okay so for that one also we can use a number and add parameterize test and add value source right uh, to ints we can pass actually 4 6 9 and 10 uh, and assert false and math helper dot this prime num okay now if i run this method uh, that uh, should also pass get passed because uh, we have non-prime numbers here right okay so uh, that is about uh, value source annotation right uh, so next uh, let's look at uh, quickly look at uh, uh, antenum source annotation which is another way to we can uh, write parameter tests in specific scenarios where we are using uh, enums right so i'm going to use uh, this week uh, day of week uh, java time annotation uh, enum actually uh, to test that whether uh, this uh, tuesday and thursday uh, returns t in the short format right so let's uh, create another class uh, another package to um, to time things right so let's have java class called day of week test right okay uh, okay so assert equals I'm gonna expect t for day of week 
dot of text text style uh, which is very narrow thing. okay 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 this is the one i'm gonna test right now we need to pass date here right okay actually we can use that day here and local we need to pass local here get default right uh, now we need to pass several uh, days of week here so for that one we can actually use uh, this at enum source right this is uh, basically uh, if we go to this enum source annotation we can pass several names and there is uh, several modes actually we can have include exclude match or match any um, modes right so uh, let's evaluate those things so for the names i'm gonna use tears day and thursday right yeah this is value we dot pass right so the names we can pass this one right so this is the basically uh, test how we write the uh, enum source we need to pass uh, what is the enum and the names right so let's sum this one okay so we got t uh, for these uh, two enums uh, in narrow style right so let's use that mode and whether test that or what is the weekend uh, if we use exclude it means uh, these to get excluded right so if we run this one uh, we got we should get uh, all wrong and uh, expect Tuesday and Thursday we should get all the days right that's uh, the uh, way that exclude works right if we use include uh, it means these two get included only right uh, and yeah and match all if got match all that is basically uh, all the matching things uh, for the names right so that means uh, we didn't get uh, anything for this one right and match any because uh, we don't get all matched to the inner values right so if we use match any these two should get matched and let's see right so these two get match on so if we use a match all we should have all the enums here. so uh, that is uh, it about enum source and value source annotations how we use how we should use those things right so if you have any question please uh, put it in a comment section and mention the things you need to learn what are the expectation and the areas you need to cover uh, in future videos right so if you uh, like this video please click like button and subscribe to our channel and press bell icon uh, to get all the notification for the future videos so thanks for watching uh, bye bye guys happy coding